Hello everyone and welcome! Riot has this place on their website that not a lot of people use. They call it Ask Riot, a place where you can ask them a question, after which they pick the most popular topic and they write an article about it. In the past, they talked about very interesting things. For example, how is it possible that skins can cause game-breaking bugs? Or how does the game calculate champion mastery? Few days ago, Riot released a new article in which they talked about the Bilgewater event. And those of you that have been around for a while know that for me, the Bilgewater event really was their finest work. The point of this article is to show us why they don't want to go for big events like this one. And because most people are mad at them for this, I want to show you that their logic behind this decision is really good. They start by saying, though Bilgewater had a lot of positivities, it was an utter beast to produce that was further complicated by our focus on a singular release window. And they continue with, Burning Tides was 11,000 word story that had to tie into various product teams who all had awesome stuff they wanted to deliver to players, but with wildly varying production schedules. And this is the big problem that people don't realize. League of Legends as a whole is a big machine. If one wheel stops, half of the machine stops too. And if you spin a wheel that wasn't moving, suddenly half of the machine is moving. Let me give you an example. Let's say Riot released a new skin for Yorick. First of all, let's bring in the 3D artists that make his model. Now that we have the naked model, we need some 2D artists to paint the textures on top of it. Now that we have the complete model of the skin, we need to animate it. Usually the skins already have pre-animated skeletons from previous skins. But let's say that he has a new recall animation. Let's call in the animators. New particles, you say? We need 2D artists to paint the spells and 2D animators to animate the particles. Now, let's release the skin. We need more artists for the splash art. Then we need the programmers that work on the client. They have to make a new spot for the skin in the champion select and in the champion tab. Then you need the programmers that work on the game itself to make room for this new skin and write down entirely new script that would allow you to even see the skin in the game. At this point we should be happy that it doesn't have a new voiceover. Now, imagine if all of those teams were spread around the world. Imagine how long it must take for one team to deliver their work to the next one. And imagine what happens if the first team finds a glitch in their model. Even in the case of Chroma skins, all of these problems exist. And the most insulting thing you can say is that other people can repaint the skins for free in the matter of days. Yes, they can, because all they are doing is repainting something that already exists. What these free artists do is that they repaint an existing skin. And as we know, repainting a wheel in the machine is not a problem. The problem is adding in a new wheel that needs to keep spinning. Now, how does all of this translate into the event? Well, the Bilgewater really was a big piece of work. It had six different music tracks, new voiceover, numerous skins and an entirely new map. All of this came at a price. The entire year before this event we didn't really see anything. So you can only imagine how long they were working on it. So the big question that appeared is, would you rather have smaller chunks of lore with smaller events here and there, or would you rather wait for the big one? In my opinion, I would rather wait for the big one, but it is a huge risk for Riot. I don't think they are in a position where they can stay silent for another half a year. So although I personally don't like the way they are going, I absolutely understand the decision behind it. If it was on me and I had to stick to smaller but more frequent events, I would spread the work that went into Bilgewater throughout the entire year. Maybe one event brings in few skins, 
another one brings in new ARAM map, and another one brings in new Summoner's Rift voiceover and music. You can still make these events memorable if you give each and every one of them something unique. Right now, we know that Riot is working on one more big event that should arrive later this year. And as they said in this article, story-wise we are working on something rather saucy for a little later this year we think lovers of story will enjoy. In fact, the amount of pure storytelling we are planning for 2016 will be more than we have ever done previously. My apologies for confusion caused by the expectations set in the past. So it seems like story-wise they are going to give us something big, but it probably won't be tied to the game as much. Which is questionable decision, but understandable. And with that, I will have to end this video. What do you think about their decisions? Would you rather wait for the big one, or would you rather get small chunks at faster rate? As always, you can join the conversation on my social media at Twitter or Facebook or in the comment section below. Leave a like below if you've enjoyed this video. And as always, I really appreciate how you guys are pushing me forward. And thank you come again. Alright, in the previous video I heard your feedback on the new intro, so I need to clarify something. I have recently switched the network that helps my channel, which unfortunately means that I lost the rights to the song that I was using in that intro. So to avoid all the copyright claims, I decided to go for one of Riot's music, specifically the awesome Tarek's theme. I feel like that music fits me better as a storyteller, but I guess it's you guys to decide. I'm sorry to all of you that I disappointed by switching the music, but I guess that's the law. So I'll try to compromise and think up something better, but until then, see you in the next one.